What's up guys, my name is Infinite Toxic and welcome to my child Leben-born. I don't know if I'm butchering the last part, but this game is a very s simple yet st story driven and very sad game, you know? It, it, it's like, okay, the word Le Leben-born is like about like, it's like basically like children being born into the perfect German in during the time of World War II, you know, the Nazis and whatnot trying to make the perfect German and healthy child. If you ain't perfect or healthy, you are shit to us, to us Germans. That's, that's what they usually thought. So basically, that's the game. We're basically a parent in like after the war and we're adopting one of the children. So I don't Oh, no, I actually don't have any progress. New game. All right, World War II rages across Europe. Norway is occupied by German. Cool head, guys. World War II ends and Norway is liberty, uh, liberated and the nation celebrates. Yes, great times. I wasn't there. I don't even think my mom was there. Uh, after five years of occupation, the, Nazi, the signs of the Nazi occupation can be scrubbed away. Actually, 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 I, my mom wasn't born that time. I'm being stupid. Three years later, you adopt a child in 1948. Why did I adopt a child? Because I can get no bitches. Oh, thank you for taking care of Klaus. He can't stay here. Ooh, do... Okay, we only have two options. Do we want to adopt Karen or Klaus? Fat boy or skinny girl? I think... I think... I think... I think I want Karen. I don't know why, but let me be a dad to a daughter. Ah, we brought her home, we gave her Christmas, the best Christmas in a birthday party. Wait, am I a woman in that? Hello there, Karen! I'm home! Uh, uh, hi, Karen, how are you? Did you have fun with Liv? Who's Liv? Hi, Karen. How was Liv nice to you? It's getting like, let's get... <laughs> okay, no, in this one. Yep, we had so much fun. Liv is my best friend. That, 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 that's nice. We found this cool, kind of creepy looking tree stump in the forest. Uh-huh. And it looked like they could be treasure there. Real treasure. But then it started to rain. But we guarded our treasure anyway. Listen patiently. How very, very, but it's getting late. Listen, I'm just listening. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, we found out the tree stump was empty. Wow, that's actually pretty dope, I won't lie. But maybe the trolls might get past and put some treasure there later. Who knows, maybe, maybe you're right, Karen. So we're gonna go back and check later. My goodness, that's amazing! That sounds... Uh, yeah, let me do this one. Yeah, it was amazing. Oh, yeah, huh? Oh, it's get kinda late. The sun's almost gone away already. The progress through the day by spending your available time units. Certain actions cost time to perform. Time units are indicated in the top left. Pressing the time unit icon will progress the time with one unit. That's nice. But, but, you, you have to see this. See what? Ooh. Look, Liv gave me a present for my birthday tomorrow. Can I open it now? Will it, it'll be so quick. Um, um, I think, I think Liv would want you to wait, dude, girly person. I guess you're right. I mean, daughter. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder what it is. Um, uh, it, it looked round. Maybe it could be a ball. Uh, you have received mail. Press the mail envelope. What the hell? Neighbor come to a cat has been seen eating flowers from the flower beds. We demand that the cat's owner keep it inside from now on. And then you have a newspaper, which goes into our mail, I think. What's that? Oh, just grown-up stuff. Blah. Blah! Disgusting. You're, you're not going to study, are you? It's so boring when you go there, and you promised me, me a bath. Don't worry, daughter of mine, I'll take your bath. Let's go to the bath, put you in here, and then give you a all scrubby doob 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 doob. Bubble, 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 yes. And what, do I, do I, do I dry you up? So, it, is it time for dinner soon? Yup. Since I'm doing tutorials, young Karen child, come here and eat your, um, porridge, is it? Here you go. Yum, yum. Eat some more. Uh, can I, mmm, can I have some more, please? Sure thing, kiddo. There you go. Oh, God, it's already dark. Um, munch, munch. 
Yawn. <sighs> it's really late now. Even the sun's gone to bed. So sleepy. Must be bedtime. I can't do a girl voice. I have such a manly voice. Go to bed, child. It is bedtime. Oh, I want to fall asleep right now. Then tomorrow will be there. Uh, tomorrow will be here more quickly. I'll be all grown up. I'll be so excited. Liv got three whole presents for her birthday. How many will I get? Uh, you'll get some nice presents too, don't you worry. Sounds like a... Uh, three presents? Hmm, sounds like Liv tells Sarah who we would be grateful for what we have. I think it's this one, bro. Does not. How about you, you just focus on having fun, yeah? We're gonna have a lot of fun, I promise. Okay, good night. Night, night, child. My little beautiful daughter. We have mail. Alrighty then, what's this? Which, which, scanning, scanning. Um, naked man in the streets today. Um, um, do I have to let go? Oh, yeah, I do. In the news, national egg production is in decline. There are enough eggs. There aren't enough eggs for ex uh, export market for what it is now. The second week is in a row. Debate continues on whether Norwegian officials should go uh, should stop exporting these essential items. The income is greatly needed, but so too is the product itself. Reading slow is the key, guys. Uh, now what? What do I? Uh... Oh, oh, do I go to bed or? When you're ready, when you're ready to end the day, go to Karen's bed and tap the lamp to turn off the light. I don't have my own bed, that's it. I sleep right here on the floor. <laughs> uh, August 18, 19 something. Good morning. Wake up, Karen. Where's your face to wake her up? Wake up! Uh, 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 do I have to press it? Yep. Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> okay, we are awake now. Now what? <sighs> It's my birthday! It's my birthday! No one forgets that as a child. I barely slept all night. I'm seven years old now. Seven! Do I look different? Maybe I'll... Don't be silly. You didn't change like that overnight. Oh, Carrie, is that you? I didn't recognize you. Whoa! Wow, we all grown up! <laughs> You're just seven years old. Chill, legs. Now what? Um, uh, Liv's supposed to send me a birthday letter. Don't worry, she will. She will, just don't worry. Can we go see? Yes, sorry. Looks like she did. Happy birthday. Sorry I can't be there. Can't wait for school to start so we can hang out every day. You're you're the best, Liv. I touched all I touched a troll yesterday. That's a lie. It's a letter from Liv. <gasps> she really saw a troll. I can't believe it. I, w I wish I could play with Liv today and every day. But She's visiting her aunt in Jotunheim. It's German, so I can pronounce it. Liv's present, I nearly forgot. Can I open it now, right? Wow, wait, it's a ball. I guessed it right. I didn't expect it to be a volleyball, but I guessed it right. My very own ball. Can we play with it? Um, tap to throw the Karen with the It'll cost time units, all right. Have a, for the birthday go? Oh, of course. Yay. Okay. Did I just press it? Yep, I just click on it. You got mad skills, Karen. Catching a ball. Now what? So, what should we do now? Um, so, I have to decide on how to spend the day. Right now, we're going to eat, my child. You're going to eat some porridge? Hmm, I know. You know my about my birthday. Well, Liv said her mom made her cake for her. Do you think we could have one? I really like cake. Um, are you sure you just don't want cabbage instead of like a grown-up? Cabbage, blah. You can have a cabbage cake. That's disgusting. <laughs> sounds all like this carrot cake, but ca oh, cabbage cake sounds literally gross. No, no cabbage cake for me. Thank you very much, though. All right then. Are you sure you don't want some cheese on bread? All right, well, well let's go outside, shall we? All righty then. To the store to buy you some cake. Uh, do we, we need this and maybe some porridge? 75 bucks, Jesus, yeah, sure enough. Did I buy it? Did I pay for it? No, I did not. Uh, there we go, perfect. Then we go home. What the hell? I'm, I, I'm sorry. I was playing with the puddles and I got messy. My shirt is all, all wet and icky. <laughs> I'm still experimenting voices, people. 
Um, yeah, he, here you go. He, uh, look at you. You look like an elf. Well, oh, if it was green. Oh, uh, this feels so much better. Be careful next time. You shouldn't worry so much. Girls get mucky sometimes. It's okay. Uh, be careful next time. I don't know. I'll be more careful. So, is it nearly bedtime to bake a cake? Yes, child. I don't know how to bake a cake, but we're gonna figure it out. First, uh, I'm so excited. I never, I never helped to bake a cake before because, because I don't know. Okay. So, what? We, we, we press cake. We make cake. We put powder and we have cake without even baking it. Wow, this was really fun. Yay, time for my birthday party. First, you're gonna have some cake. Yeah, should we have this food more often? I like cake. Your cake is the best I've ever had. But even though it's your friend, <gasps> you got me a present! Yes! I don't know when, but I did. Ooh, I wonder what it is. It's drugs. I hope you enjoy it. Yes! Drawing pencils! <laughs> Imagine my my daughter just turned all demonic just because I gave her coloring pencils, drawing pencils. I mean, you remembered what I wanted. Thank you. You're gonna be like me, child. You're gonna draw like me, and like what, like my all my drawings and and the way pass by two draws. I could show you guys my drawing one day. Who knows? You're welcome, Karen. Uh, guess what? You can use them when you start school next week. Oh yeah, I nearly forgot. I can't wait. Thank you so much for my present. I love it. Oh, I know. Let's try them out! You can help me color in my drawings! We can go to the room and draw! Let's go! Oh god, oh god, what the fuck is- Oh, tro a troll! I'm guessing this is you? Why is- is this an ocean water thing? Because it's reflecting, so I'm assuming so. Oh. Alrighty then, color, 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 color. I can't even color, guys, like... I failed- I, fa I failed high school. I- it seems- I, fa I feel like I failed primary school. That was fun. I love my new pencils. Um, can I stay up a little while longer, please? I don't want my birthday to end. There's more birthday presents next time. Uh, you could stay up, but if you sleep, you might grow up even more. Oh yeah, you're right. Bedtime for me then. Let's go sleep, child. <laughs> Today was fun. It was really fun. Did you have a nice birthday? I really did. Thank you. We had so much fun. I'm the best dad there is, guys. I just wish Liv could have been here, though. I wonder what Liv looks like. Do you think I'll get any more presents? We'll just have to wait and see. You should probably be happy with what you already got, Karen. Life lesson for you. I'm sorry for being a bad parent, but I'm happy with what I have got, really. But? But? Would you read me a bedtime story? Yeah, sure, anything for you. I don't have any mail to read today. Because apparently they take up my time units. Alright, once upon a time, there was a kingdom. And that kingdom had frogs, and then a girl kissed the frog. Everything was thought she was a weirdo. But then turns out she got turned into a frog as well. It was crazy. And then when they, they kissed again, it was all crazy. I'm, 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 <laughs> it was a crazy story, I'm telling you, Liv. I was there! <laughs> oh, oh she, she fell asleep, okay. Do we have any mail? Do I actually have any mail? No, I do not. Uh, sleep time, I guess. Alright, Liv. Night, night. As the morning comes. Wow. Good morning, how the hell are you dirty? <gasps> School starts on Tuesday! Uh, it sure does, are you excited? Um, <laughs> Just one more day. Oh, I can barely wait. To be honest, I never really enjoyed school. I just wanted to stay home. But I do. I did enjoy having friends, though. Yeah. Um. All right then. then um. Well, you're forcing me to go and feed her. So. So it seems that um. Oh, maybe can we have something different food soon? We eat this a lot. I miss having warm dinners. To buy better food, we'll need a job. I'm trying to find one. Oh, then I hope you do find a job you like. That's what, that, that, that's what I also want to do, you know? I like YouTube, I like doing it, and I'm hoping it's the job I want to do. Um, let's take you, it's Sunday today, how about we can go explore the forest? You don't have to always buy things, we can find food too. Which is, which is good, since the store is always closed on Sundays. That's actually pretty smart, my daughter is smart. You are a smart little girl, aren't you? 
Alrighty, then let's head on out to the forest. Oh, look. Uh, oh, look. So many things to pick. I know, right? Um, We got berries. We got... Oh, some blueberries. Some mushrooms. Oh, my God. I'm taking 10 minutes just from picking this stuff. This is all where the mushrooms were. And then blueberries. And then we'll go cook you some... I found you little berries. Alright, then. Um, I'm guessing... Ooh, um, I'm gonna make this. Wow, imp impressive! Like, like, so, so, so dope. <laughs> uh, could you? Yeah, I'll feed you this tomorrow so I can give you a bedtime story. Wait, do I even have mail? Yes, I do. I'm sorry, child. You're gonna have to go to bed. Oh wait, uh, let me just read the mail. <laughs> Because it takes my time units, and by this time, this is my final time unit, so... We need more workers at the old factory. Sturdy job from Monday to Saturday. Tap to write. I read your ad for a fa work, uh, factory work. My apologies, I can't read. And hereby wish to apply. I am here a hard worker who would be very grateful for a sturdy job. Please, consider me for your position. I send a... All right, then, can I go to sleep? Yes, you can. You can go to sleep. So I was drawing today, and I had an idea. I can help us earn money. We can sell my drawings. Really? That's a great idea. We'll work hard, both of us, together. Uh, that's sweet. All you need to do is keep... Uh, 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 all you need... All I need you to do is to keep being nice. Yeah, not? you can make me a little dope. Yeah, I like that. We can help each other. Can you read me a, that story I like? Uh, sorry, it's past your bedtime. <laughs> uh, oh, good night then. Good night, my little precious daughter. <laughs> yeah, Monday, where we got to go to work. Oh yeah, you're going to school on Tuesday. Good morning, I'm ready for today. Liv is back today. She said I could go play with her at her n at noon. Well, job allegation, we are happy to offer you a job at the factory. Yes, please start at your earliest convenience from the August 21st. Oh, we're, th we're starting together. Okay, cool. All right, then. You are pretty hungry. What does it say? Good news. I got a job at a factory. That's great. When do I get to have a job? I don't know. When you're 13? Uh, not, not, just, not just yet. You can get a job when you're a bit older. But I am older. <sighs> It's not fair. You're just seven. Seven, right? Well, you're not as dirty, so we're just gonna wash your face because it also keeps you a bit clean. Wait. Keep going up. Nope, it's already reached its limit. Alright, then we'll feed you some porridge. And some blueberries. And then we'll make you a meal. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Did I forget? Well, look at that. Mushroom. You said, um, you said you might fix some of my old clothes soon. They're, they are nice. I like them, except for the for the holes. The holes are no good. Mm -mm. Thanks. Liv is my best friend. I'm gonna play with her now. Bye. I, you told me already, child. Um, so we can fix her clothes. Um, ooh, I'm, I'm liking this one, child. I would like to give you this one. I think I'll spend the whole day doing this. Oh, oh crap, ah, oh, shit, oh, okay, 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 I'm back from playing with Liv, I hid for a drawing for you, see if you can find it, um, sure thing, child, is it, is, is it, is it here, is, is, it, is it, is it, is it here, why are you dirty, oh, it's here, ah, her and Liv playing together, how nice, oh, they didn't go take a bath, you stinky child, how dare you be stinky! Actually, oh, hey, do you have new clothes? Actually, um, yes, you do. Oh, feck! Uh, not yet. Not yet. I need to feed her the meals, bro. I need to feed her the the food. We can feed her tomorrow, all right? You can sleep with a bit of hunger. <laughs> I'm sorry, child. When I wake up, I'll be a schoolgirl. I wonder what it's like. What what it will be like for school? You seem a little, are you looking forward to it? I don't know, I think so. I just hope I'll make lots of new friends. Work hard and you'll do great. Uh, and look, if, if anyone's mean to you, just ignore them. 
Huh? Why? I didn't like that sound. Why would be anyone be mean? Because some people are mean. They're just how it is. You gotta tell them certain. Oh, um, I'll just try to stay away from the mean people. Could you read me a bedtime story? Of course, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll spend my, 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 my crap with you. Ah, uh, bedtime story. There was a, a cat which wore boots. His name was Puss in Boots. He got an egg from... I can't even remember that story. He got an all golden egg. But the goose just terrorized them and chased them everywhere. And then they turns out Humpty Dumpty was the one that stole the egg. Blah, blah, blah. God, it's been a while since I've... <laughs> it's been a while since I've... I, um, of, uh, since, since I watched that movie. It's been a minute. They should make another Puss in Boots movie. Today's the day. I'm starting school like a big girl. So how do you... Um, are you excited? Yes, very. I've waited so long to go to school. <laughs> oh, and is it your first day at your new job too? Maybe soon we can afford a nice backpack to carry all my books. Hopefully. I think I saw one in the shop. We'll see, but you have to do well in school. I'll get you one, but I'll have to see if I can afford it first. Huh? I guess it, that makes sense. Alright, then. Um, you're not that dirty. I mean, you're actually pretty clean today. What the fuck? Did you did, did did you bathe during while you, while you were sleeping? All right then, eat. Oh crap! All right then, if we don't have any food, then we'll just make some now. Isn't that right, child? Have to buy food. Uh, that's your meal for tonight, child. I'm nervous. I can see it in your face. <laughs> Sorry, I had I had dad coffee. Uh, do you think you could walk me to school? Uh, sure. Don't be no. You are, I think I don't think uh, I don't think I can. But how about we walk some of the way together? Really? Thanks. You're the best. You could you could walk pretty fast. Just saying. Thank you for walking me here. You're welcome, my beautiful child. This school is really big, isn't it? Eh, my school's bigger than that. Um, be strong and be going and show everyone how smart you are. Yeah. Uh, just be nice and everyone, and everyone think you're great. I'll be nice to everyone. Bye, child. I don't trust them. Trusting people is the worst. <laughs> well, not everyone, everyone. Uh, we can work overtime. We'll just go home then. Um, can I buy a meal? Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay. All right, then that's that's enough. Forty bucks. We can spend like forty bucks. I didn't even see how much we we get. Oh, I'm home. How was your first day at school? It was like you said, I was trying to make some friends, but well, everyone kept staring at me and didn't want to talk to me. I think the other kids are mean. Oh, I'm sorry, did you try to talk to anyone? It was really scary. They looked mad. People like that aren't worth your time. They'll come around. Yeah, those people aren't worth your time. You're right. I don't like them at all. They're mean and stupid. J Jesus Christ, Karen, calm down. I'm just telling you to, to, to grow a backbone, Jesus Christ. Alright, we can spend 40 bucks. Um, what can we do? What we can we do? Um, I can... Um, can I make a meal? Oh, yes, I can. Okay, this will be a meal for tomorrow. Uh, could you help me uh, look at my schoolwork? My teacher might ask me some questions t tomorrow. Yes, of course. Oh, thank you. This book is in my room. Here we go. Oh, you look kind of sad, though. Oh, teacher. If Lynn and Pierre each had an apple, and Lynn gave a, a, a apple, how many apples would Pierre have? If they both had an apple? Wait, what? Pierre would have two apples? Yes, that's what I thought, too. I didn't really read well. Okay, next one. If Pierre then ate one of his apples, uh -huh, how many apples would he have? One. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right. Last one. If Pierre's mom brings four more apples and tells Pierre and Lynn to share them all out, the apples fairly, then how many apples would Pierre and Lynn give? Uh, Pierre should give Lynn two apples. And Pierre already had two apples from before. So that wouldn't be fair. Oh, you're right. Should we do something else now? Um, oh... My child, I'm so sorry. 
Um, what could we do? If I feed you, then I wouldn't have time for um, book time. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do this first. Look, I'm trying to get her a backpack, okay? I, I love my daughter too much to get her a backpack. In the news, skybound conflict above Korea. 17 American F-86 jet planes and almost 60 communist M MIG uh, aircraft met into the violent battle above North Korea today. All right, then. And I'm so tired after today, I could sleep a whole week. That's, that's nice. Oh yeah, we even have to make you your, um, excuse me, fix your bag, like your clothes. Even the teacher, Miss Hansen, seemed kind of mean. Growing up means learning some challenges that you face. That's true. Maybe I'll change my mind. No, don't, you, you can change your mind. Maybe I don't want to be a grown-up after all. Uh, can you, could you, maybe, would you maybe read me a story? Of course, my child. Okay, thank you. There was once upon a time this big ogre who who like kicked down the toilet and then this song kept playing all the time. He met a donkey. He met an, an other a human girl which then also into an orc org orger thing and then they lived happily ever after. <laughs> I have to watch Shrek again, like honest to god, I couldn't have forgot, I'm even mixing how, how they even met and how they got married. Alright then, sleep time. I, okay, I'm told that there are different chapters in this game, so I don't know if I want to play for until the chapter ends. But I kind of want to do that as well. But, because I know this, this game's like at least 5 hours long. We could get the rest uh, out of our books soon, I don't want to have a backpack though. The other kids have backpacks for their books mm, i'm sure if we can afford the backpack can as if it happens i might get you a backpack very soon mm. i'll do the middle one. Oh, that's not fair i'm sorry child all right we'll feed you first and see can't you just read the mail here yeah i mean like she does have a point i feel like um okay we'll do this since it doesn't take out much of our time We'll have to change your clothes because you know school. There we go, and then we have to feed you, my beautiful darling child, some s fish soup. Oh God, you're not. Ugh. Okay, we'll feed you some porridge as well. I'm not sure I wanna go to go, but I have to go or live. We'll be we'll be on her own. Maybe the other kids would be nicer if I was like them. And had a backpack, and the other kids all have one. Say yes of getting a backpack. I say yes, but you're not sure about getting a backpack. Can I get one? Maybe, but only to protect your books. A backpack isn't to prove your worth. Okay. To work, then. I wish I could work overtime so I can make more money for. Oh, we made so much money! I'm getting her backpack. And some porridge. And then, why isn't anything to it? What's ten bucks? Ooh, a comb. Yay, we got. Oh, I forgot to buy her. <laughs> I keep forgetting to press that. Okay, we got the backpack. But what? What's going on? I don't know. Somebody called me a bad word today. Oh, what did they call you? Oh, did they say you a bad? They said I'm a bastard because I don't have a real family. Oh, oh, that's not a bad. That's kind kind of them. Our family is a little different, but it, but different isn't bad. Our family is far better than theirs. They're wrong on many levels. We are a wonderful family. It's true. Where w w they were wrong? Oh, so I guess they lied. I'm glad that you're like. like I'm glad you like our family. I do too. But they all have a mom and dad. No one got left behind. Uh huh. Who are my parents? I want to know. You promised me. You said that you tell me how I was big and look, I'm big now, I'm giant, I look like the penny stock. Oh, that's the next story I'm going to tell you. Why would they call me a bastard? The word just means your parents weren't married, which is true. But that's no reason to pick on you. They weren't married? Who were they? I wish I knew more about my parents. Please tell me. I'll try to find out more, but it might be unpleasant. Promise me. Promise that you'll find out. Okay, I'll promise I'll try. I'll finally know who my parents are. Contact Karen's best mother. What's that? Guess. 
Is it a back bend? Is it? Isn't it? Is it? Is it? <laughs> she just explodes. <laughs> I don't. I didn't know that I would get one. Thank you so much. It's perfect. You're welcome. You deserve it. I can't wait to show uh, this to live. All right, then you're gonna take a bath, eat, and then we're not gonna read you bedtime story. I'm sorry. Can we play? Oh. Shite. Um, okay, but we can draw. Wow, I'll go hide. Um, where the fuck is you, child? Where are you? Where are you, child? I will find you. <laughs> okay, you're not under the bed. Where the fuck is you? Honest to God, where the fuck are you? <laughs> Daughter of mine? Child? <laughs> She's not anywhere here. Um, is she here? Because she's not anywhere here. Uh, is she here? She's not there. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, she's right there. Ha, huh, you almost didn't find me, did you? Uh, you're going to have to eat a meal, dude. We'll give you this. And then we'll get some more tomorrow. Uh, you got to go to bed. Or we will. School is different to what I expected. The other kids aren't as fun as I thought. But. Maybe learning new things will be. School is complicated, but you're a smart kid. Things will change now that I'm all grown up, huh? Uh, yeah, as a grown up, you'll discover the world on your own. Wow, the whole wide world. <laughs> that's, wow, that's really big. Yes, yeah. I'll be there for you to take care of you. You just, you always be just right to me. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess you're older than me. But I can take care of you too. Well, in the far future. I'm sorry if I made you upset. With what? I don't need another parent. I have you. Aww. It would just be nice to know about them. Yeah, I get it. I'll see what I can find out. Now bedtime, I think. Hmm. I don't have time for a better no maybe tomorrow. Uh, a good night then, my darling child. Okay. Uh, tomorrow, since you already took a bath yesterday, we'll feed you today. I'm here. Good morning. The factory is understaffed due to the understaffing. We will work occasionally. Yes, overtime, baby. Fuck yes. All right then. We're gonna wash your face. We're gonna feed you some porridge. Ugh, it's not a lot though. We don't have money now. Well, let me read the news and see what's up. What's this? Uh, adopts ab adoption. What's this? Okay. All right. You started writing a letter named Mother Address. Blah blah blah. Write to Mother. Tap to write. Dear Siri, I know I promised to leave you alone, but I have to write you to you now. I currently started school, but we have heard this happened. She really needs to know the truth about her father. Could you please tell me more of Karen's sake? Kind regards. Um, wait. I understand. I, I can finally understand, but buy your backpack that's still in sport this week only. We have several cars and models handy. I can we also have a wonderful school bags. We already bought that. Thank you for my backpack. Oh, look at it. <laughs> Alrighty then, we're gonna work overtime this time. I need the cash and I need food. Ooh, 80. So we get 70 dollars? Eh? No, wait. Um, not 70. Um, why can't I do the math? Isn't it? Yeah, it is. 70. Yeah, it's 70. What the fuck am I talking about? Okay, we got overtime. How much do we have? 110, baby! The store is closed. Fuck me. You're finally home. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, shit, <laughs> bedtime story, I forgot. Okay, that increased. <laughs> I'm sorry, child, you're kind of in a, in a bad spot. Oh, shit. I found some sticks on my way home from school. Have a look and maybe you can make something with it. Could you read me a bedtime story? It's, n it's past your bedtime. Okay, then, good night. <sighs> tomorrow, tomorrow, I promise, I promise I'll read you. Ooh, a backpack, yay. We got our backpack, yay. Uh, be, I hope today will be nice. Council maybe well. This is a warning. We've heard numerous complaints about the language being spoken in the neighborhood. 
German language being spoken in the neighborhood. This is unacceptable. This has to stop immediately. Oh, you're kind of dirty, child. We don't even have food. Um, I'm spending all my cash on food, darling. Ah, uh, shit. I keep forgetting to buy. All right. One, two, one. And build. Oh, it didn't take out that of my day. Cool, cool, cool. Um, uh, well, we have to change your clothes first. Because what will the kids think about my beautiful daughter? And then we'll feed you a nice little meal. We also need to have a meal for tonight, my child. And we'll wash your face. Because why not? Look at that. You won't even be stinking no more. My bag is really nice. I'm glad that you have one. Yes, I'm being a bad parent, but uh, you know how you can't let the child like you know keep carrying books like that. Um, mm, we'll, we'll get you more rage. I'm back from school. Did you have a nice day? Everyone was really excited today. We are supposed to have another teacher, Mr. Solheim, but he can't work. I don't know why. We're getting a different teacher called Mr. Berg. I wonder what he'll be like. I sure hope he's nicer than Miss Hansen. My backpack is so pretty. You're so obsessed with your backpack, child. Uh, can we draw today, at least? Uh, no, we can't, but... You're hungry, so we'll... F okay, that's what we're gonna do, child. Um, we don't have any mail, so we're good. What's this? Oh, uh, oh, this is our... Oh, yeah, this is our journal. Okay, we'll, we'll read it uh, tonight. Um... Okay, let me think this through. Tomorrow you could take a bath because this is, you're not that dirty. So we'll just do this. And tomorrow you take a full-on bath. Today you're going to eat something. Because I want to read your bedtime story. I want to keep you all well fed, my child. Today is what, Friday? Alright then. That should be enough to serve you till tomorrow. What, uh, the 24th of... August, didn't you say it started on the 21st? It was Tuesday. Um, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay, we have one more day to work, so that would be fine, perfectly fine. Catch the ball. Catch the ball. All right, then. It's getting late. Yep, it is. Go to bed, my child. Uh, Mr. Berg sounds like someone who could be strict. Can you read me a bedside story? Of course. Wow, thank you. That was a dumbass. All right, let me tell you a story about this one. This parent told her son to go, or his son, I remember, his son to go buy, to go sell the cows. But instead of that, he traded for some beans. And then when he planted the, the mom threw the beans outside, the beans, it, it rained outside that night. And then yes, then the next day, there was a giant bean star. The boy climbed the bean star. And then, and then he saw a giant, he claimed down real fast, while the giant was chasing him, he ch chopped down the beanstalk real quickly, and then the giant fell and he, he died and the village was safe. He was a hero. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming that's what happened, right? Alright, today I promised I would find more about your parents, but I don't know, wait, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Why am I... All right then. Um, today I promised that I would find more about your parents, but I don't know if I will be able to find your answers if you hoped for. So I'm starting this journal. I'll give it to you when you're old or older to understand. And if I can't learn the story of your parents at all, at least you'll know that I tried, and you'll know more about the war and what happened afterwards. This is what I know. Three years ago, I answered an ad in the newspaper saying, Three-year-old child adopt for, for adoption. Reference, war child. I dearly wanted to a child, as I hoped you'd know in your heart. Your mother just, your mother told me that your father was a German soldier and that he was only 16 and unmarried. When he, she had you in 1944, she refused to say more. She, she had married a man from the resistance and made me promise to keep you away from her in, new, in her new life. She might want to help, although she doesn't want contact. It, it's hard to understand why a mother would abandon her child. 
But many of her, mo but many of the mothers who had children with the German soldiers did indeed give them away. It is thought around 12,000 such children were born in the Norway during World War II. Most of them to, you know what? Most of them to young women and teenagers like your mother. Oh, okay. What's this? I can see that. What's this? Oh, that's her when she was a little baby. And this is when we got home. It turns out I'm a lady. I'm a woman. <laughs> okay, that's kind of dumb. You could have asked, like, the game should have added, like, a thing calling, like, oh, a cake and a present. And her drawing. Oh, and that's a drawing. And her going to school with her back. But, oh, cool. Where's the camera, guys? Where's the camera? Is this my memories or something like that? Oh, shit. My bad. My bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Return. Return. Yes. Just, just. Oh. <laughs> All right, then, child. You may not be having fun, but at least you're living a good life. And I'm, I apologize for that. What did you early in the morning? Hello, I'm awake. It's Saturday, so no school today. Yippee! Oh no, I promise. Leave it. We would play together. Okay, have fun. Uh, yeah, okay, have fun. We have an hour going to play in the forest. Bye. Um, we don't have food, so... What was that stick thing? I think it, it could, like, do... Ooh. What? Oh, yes! I was having the same idea, so we might go fishing. Alright then, um... Let's go to the... Oh! Oh, my lord! I have to go to work. Oh, thank god I have to go to... Oh, yeah, it said Monday to Saturday! Oh, shite! <laughs> Ooh... Overtime, I need money. <laughs> I wanna give her good meals. I need this, this goddamn store to close. You're finally home, so we can eat. Oh my god, child, I wanna go to bed. No, oh, you gotta take a big old belly poo. Ah, shite. Before, uh, it would be nice. It's past your bed. It's too late, Karen. I'm sorry. You're gonna sleep with hunger today, and I'm really sorry about that. Oh, crap. Can I even. Can I. Oh. Okay, we'll go fishing tomorrow, okay? You'll have all the meals that you ever wanted tomorrow. Tomorrow, my dear, beautiful, laborious-born child. <laughs> Sunday! It's Sunday, so we can may come outside with me today. We have a fishing rod, so we can go fishing. Me and Lydia found some berries, too, so we can go and pick them. Mm. All right, then. Um, Let me just fix it up first. Nice! See poo. So we can go fishing, right? We're fishing so we can come yummy fishes. Oh crap. I'm so sorry, child. Oh yeah, let's just go. Let's go. Um, come on, catch me some fish. Oh not a boot! Oh come on, you have a fishing weight works, I know, but it's not good. Oh come on, really a f uh, that's no fish. I I know. Okay, we'll go in the forest and get some stuff. I really want to go and draw. Do you want to come and help me? Yeah, that sounds great. All right, then that means no bedtime. Sorry. On, on me? On me? Is she the demon that you are talking about? It turned out that we're really good, at, don't you think? I think I want to keep this one, though. For us, though. We can sell the next one. Of course, you can keep drawing. Thanks. Uh, fishes. We didn't even catch any fishes. You got boots, you stupid child. All right, then let me just wash your stinking face. We'll change your clothes tomorrow. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Being a parent is hard, man. Especially when you're limited with time. Oh, we have this. You're going to have the best. Oh, that looks like a good meal. I hope that feeds you well. Sleepy. Not yet. You're going to eat your meal. <laughs> there you go. Enjoy. All right, then I really like playing with Liv, and she said loves when I say my strange words. Str strange words? You know, like Omi. Other strange words, too. Liv says they're very funny. Don't say words like that anymore, Karen. But why not? There are some people in the neighborhood that dislike those words. Why are they? <gasps> I've been saying the badders. <laughs> You've been saying the batters, child. The strange words, if you don't know them, many people don't like them. Um, no, little. 
but some people but bad people used to say them don't so don't say them out outside i don't think i understand but i'll stop using those words could you read me a painting story oh your choice harden your heart it's fine it's important to have a soft and a hard heart it's past your bedtime sorry all right oh good night then all right tomorrow you're gonna change your clothes have a meal and then we go to work Ugh, i'm so hungry uh i'm so nervous okay all right i'll be right back i'm gonna get you a nice meal Ooh, we got a letter i have to read that later uh mail 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 meal 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 um well we'll get some porridge some whatever the fuck and uh Damn it, bro! Toxic by the goddamn things! $30 in the pocket, baby. Alright, we're gonna change your clothes, you stinking child. And then, do, do I really wanna do, like, um, clean your face? It's already fucking clean. Um, I guess it's like more of like saying if you're above 80%, you can't do shite anymore. Okay, I love my backpack. I hope we learn something fun to it. Take care. I'll try. Um, here's some, some, some breed. Um, I kind of feel awful, like, leaving her with, like, not, like, full. But, you know, it's, like, how, like, most parts of life is. I won't work overtime today, so, even, you know, there's not even overtime anyways. Um, we'll, we'll get some porridge. Oh, I want to get her the comb. Maybe, maybe the next day. Or maybe today! <laughs> Alright then, they tore up my backpack. What? I'm so sorry, I tried to stop them. It, it was so expensive, now it's ruined. Please don't be mad at me. Oh no, are you okay? They didn't hurt me, I'm just sad. You've worked so hard to get me that backpack. I couldn't keep it nice and new. Oh, you're the best child. Don't be sad, Karen. I'll fix it. Really? You can fix it? Ah, but not today though. I'm sorry, I couldn't take care of it. It's fine, child. It's it's perfectly fine. Ooh, we can have the comb right here. What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. You look so weird. Don't you? Like, it, it feels off like this. It's so weird. But you have nice hair. Uh, yeah, we, we, we'll keep you with your old classic double ponytailed hair. Um... All right, it's perfectly fixed. Isn't that wonderful, huh? <sighs> you did it. You fixed my backpack, and it's almost as good as new. Haha, <laughs> enjoy it, Karen. I will. No child can fuck up my. No child will fuck up my daughter's backpack. No one, I say, will reach your backpack. Well, I wish all the mean people go away. <sighs> Same here, child. This world is cruel as it is. Don't say things like that, good worker. Now go to sleep. I don't want to kind of do this kind of. Thing. Please don't say such things. Things will get better in time. Ugh, sometimes in a lot of time. Ugh. Okay. See you tomorrow. I will play the game until... Until... Uh, rah, rah, until, like, the chapter ends. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to speedrun this shit. Alright, then. Uh, oh, we get, Oh yeah, cool. We didn't get to, like, um read the thing. Alright, then. Ford School. Written land and handed to Karen in the morning. I don't think it's a good idea, though. Some of the other children at school... Have been cruel to Karen, and yesterday they ruined her school equipment. And I asked the school to be addressed to this bullying problem before it gets out of hand. I don't think it would be a, a good idea, though. Like, especially if the teacher is like me, especially because she, she's a German child, and she's not. And the, since the teacher's not really being grown up by the situation, so yeah. I'm sorry, I can't help you, but I have a new life, and I cannot have it disturbed by mistakes from my past. Karen is no response longer, my son. Do not write again. Oh, you bitch. You're a bitch, you know that, right? <laughs> You're an awful person. I can't believe that. Wow. Good news. Making a tasty long and barrel German. 3 kg fruit, 1 liter juice, and 2 kg sugar. Use a whole nice berry for gym. Boil the berries for... Um, boil the berries juice for 10 minutes. Put the sugar in a big jar and pour the boiling berries on the top and stir. Alright, then do you have more to the bit stuff? Uh, um, I've written. I uh, uh, promise you. Uh, okay. Oh wait. I. Oh god. I don't know if you can hear that. 
Oh god, my oh, my 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 freaking key, my my freaking um laptop is like running crazy because it has like a high performance fan. So, oof, I, it's like making like a noise. So I don't know if you can hear that. She might want to be All right, I have written your mom. She might want to help although she doesn't want to contact it's hard to understand why her mother would abandon her child but many of the mothers who had children with german soldiers did indeed give them a oh, wait, wait wait your mother i you shouldn't think ill of your mother it it is true that some of norwegian women had german boyfriends because they offer better food luxury items and parties and some were also informers betraying the other norwegians but most of their who would probably simply fell in love during the occupation there were over three three hundred and fifty hundred thousand german soldiers in norway in a country with only three million people many of them lived in the in private homes and many were still teenagers when you grow older you learn that you can control who you fall in love with it's true maybe she's scared in 1945 when the war and five years of German occupation ended, many of those young women are prepared, pr paraded as traitors the, through the streets. Local mobs cut off their hairs and they lost their jobs. Although not illegal to have a German boyfriend, it was, it was and still is seen as a treason by many Norwegians. Why don't you just try to move? I don't know. I mean, yes, I know the hassle of moving costs a lot of... The hatred towards the occupying enemy and their Nazi ideology grew very strong during the occupation. Now that we've been freed, all things linked to German are seen as evil. Therefore, many of these mothers are trying to hide the fact that they had a child with a German soldier. Others feel that it's impossible to keep their child. It's hard to get jobs, a place to live in any respect if you're known as a German slut. Oh God, your neighbors won't let you forget that. Oh wow. Oh wait, is it is it the room that's making that noise? Jesus. We didn't catch fish, child. We didn't catch no fish. What's wrong with you? All right, tomorrow take a bath and eat. Do I even have food? Do I? Yes, I do. <laughs> your boy be having that cash money soon. <laughs> All right, bedtime. August Tuesday morning. Oh, you seem kind of sad. Just, just, just wash your face. Do you wanna? You, do you wanna? Do you wanna have it? Oh my God, my child. We'll, 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 you can go to school with a new haircut. You know, that way people might like you. Who knows? I swear, man. You guys like we should really teach our kids to be like nicer to everyone. Even though we, we, we even though. Oh, oh, wait, what? The hell! I know that big girls have to go to school, but it's really hard. Uh, God, I can't give it to her. Just try to avoid those nasty teeth together, okay? Okay, I think I can understand, but I hate this. At least you help me. Uh, I can't give her that, the, the letter. Because it might hurt her and whatnot. So it's bad as it is. Is there anything in the store? No, there is not. Okay. Oh, what happened? Everyone's being mean and you don't even care? What? Don't talk, of course I dare. I had lectures about the war today and the teacher made me stand the whole lecture with my hand raised out. Everyone was looking and staring. Oh, what? They're all bad. I'm so sorry, child. You don't deserve this kind of bullshit. Oh, crap. Just eat your porridge. It'll make you feel a bit better. Oh, wow. Really? I, I, I fucking knew it, man. If I give you, like... We have a new clothes for you, my darling Karen. I'm being I'm sorry for being upset with you. You're always standing up for me. That makes me feel better. I'm tired. All right, then we'll read you a bedtime story. What is what is wrong with me? Don't say things. There's nothing wrong with you. You're perfect. Actually imperfect, but that's what makes you perfect because you won't find anything perfect in this world. I don't believe you. There's nothing wrong with you, Karen. Go to sleep. Well, you are.
and stop thinking about them. Okay. A story if it would be nice. Can, of course, my child, you can have all the stories in the world. Alright, then there was a story about these guys who, this bald guy talking about family and they would rob stuff. And then they became a good guy. And they even drove a car into space. <laughs> night, night, my dear darling child. All right then, Wednesday. I know I'm, I'm going a bit too fast, not taking my time, but I need to go do things. I'm glad that I have my backpack back. <laughs> That's a tongue ass twister. Do, do we even have a meal here? Should I make a meal or I should? Okay, tell you what, daughter, I will wash your face. Your face, yeah, and then we'll make you a meal, and when you, and then you'll eat the, the next one, right? How about that, huh? The sounds good, sounds perfect, sounds you say. Munch, munch. We should be going. I'll see you soon. I'll learn a lot, okay? I don't know why my brain froze there. Oh, look at that cash! Look at that cash! <laughs> Nigga, I've been making that dope ass money. Mm, we'll, we'll make you a cake from this, and the rest will be porridge. Oh, my darling child. Oh, be why? Why do people say I'm a German kid? I'm not German. But we just wanna rally up. Did those kids pick on you again? No, Miss Henson said it. She told me the whole class that I'm a German kid. Utter nonsense. Don't listen to it. It's true. It's not true. You're a Norwegian citizen. Why would they say that? <sighs> yeah, why would they? Maybe it's because, like, you adopted. Is it about my parents? <sighs> uh, I'll tell her what I don't know, what she knows. Your father was a German shoulder. Uh, German shul uh, shoulder. S so soldier. He was here in no Norway during the war. All right. Oh, okay. That's all I. Yeah, and your mama gave it away because your dad was a German. Oh, that's all I know so far. My dad was a German. Thank you for telling me. You're welcome, child. Maybe it's like saying softens your heart with me. That's what it's trying to say. Okay, we'll put you in your clothes. Look at that. Look at you. You look amazing. Jesus Christ! You guys are bullying a girl. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Like, honest to God. Oh, yeah, I bought food. <laughs> Completely forgot. Um, Here's your mushroom toast. <laughs> Wait, is there even no, any... Um, nope, there is none. All right, then. Go sleep. Good night. Good night. Thank you for fixing my backpack. That was, like, like, two days ago. Thank you for being so patient. You know, they said that Germans aren't bad. Are bad. You can trust what they are saying. We don't know if your dad was a bad guy or not. Oh. I don't know. I don't want you to worry. Get some rest, okay? No one's, a, no one's ever completely bad or completely bad. We just... Yeah, I just don't... I don't understand. Uh, never mind then. I feel like maybe like at this time, this, this, this child thinks, Oh, you know, things will change a lot now that I'm a grown-up. I was quite looking forward to starting school and being around more kids. I know you told me it might not be nice, but I don't understand why they have been so mean. Means Miss Henson and some grown-ups, some of the grown-ups, they look at me like I've stolen or broken something. I have, and I've been good, really good. Not even getting a backpack worked. Um, um, maybe there is something wrong with me. My parents aren't weren't married. Was I because I'm bad? They didn't even know you're bad. You're so far you're the best child I've ever had in any fictional thing, <laughs> game, what not. My dad is a German. Maybe he's bad, and then I'm bad. But I don't know even know even know him. So how can I be bad? Live and me and you. We're all only good people. She doesn't like it when other kids get angry. Then she gets goes and hides. I'll try to hide more too. But this is my best hiding spot. Because you're here to chase the bad people away. I'm tired. Could you read me a bedtime story? Of course. Nice, thank you. There was a story about a darling little girl who was German. She wasn't mean at all, and maybe her father wasn't. 
but she was the best kid I've ever had in my life. <laughs> there we go, Davy. Oh yeah, what I oh I mean, I completed the chapter. Okay, what I was trying to say is that um uh, the kid when he says I didn't understand, I think he like technically thinks that you know she only thinks in like a one way perspective, not a two way perspective. So whenever you say something as complicated as like saying, oh, we're not all bad or good, she thinks like, what? That doesn't make sense. You can't be two things. You can only be one thing. You know, that's what she thinks. All right. Uh, 35% optimistic, 25% assertive, and 38% altruist. This feels, this describes me perfectly. I, I could maybe drop down optimistic. Well, uh, I can be optimistic times assertive, yes, but 25% is the perfect number with me. Open, uh, what, what, what is this? I don't speak French. <laughs> you and 72% of others bought a backpack. Awesome. You guys are dope. What happened to you guys? I'm guessing you guys didn't like really strategize on how to get a backpack and whatnot. You and 63% of others told Karen about her parents. Mm, yeah. Not that all of us would, would tell our children, but to children shouldn't that. You and 56 of others warned against the German words. Of course we had to. I mean, like, come on. We're in a town. What's wrong with you people? Like, honestly. Or maybe you missed the option and you just chose what was felt more compatible to you. It's pretty outside. Alrighty then. Um, What's wrong? Uh, uh, Everyone in school is calling me a German bastard. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm a bad person. I'm sorry. I want them to at least call me by my name when you... Uh, when will you let me know who my parents are? I'll... Uh, I'll find... I'll know when I found it, I promise. I wish I could just show my, uh, my parents. Then they'll stop calling me names. Oh, if it were only that simple. Alrighty then, this is the first end of chapter numero uno of my son, Lebensborn. God, I'm butchering that name, of course. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I, I certainly enjoyed every single beautiful bit of this video. I mean, I kind of feel sorry for Karen or even Klaus, depending on who you choose between the guy or girl. But I kind of feel sorry for them, you know? I mean, like, because, you know, back then, you know, people weren't as open and accepting as we are today. Uh, I mean, like, like you know, the, how people would treat black people then, German people back then. I, you know, uh, and, 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 I, and also when the game was starting out, it did say it's based on some two stories. So, yeah, I feel so sorry for whoever went through this. And I hope that you're doing okay. And, you know, I hope, I hope it wasn't as bad. I hope that you made it out of life and, I don't know, toughened your heart and whatnot. Made you a better person. I don't know. Like, learn from the experiences and whatnot. But anyway, thank you guys so much. If you liked it, punch that like button in your stupid little face. Comment down in the comments if you want anything of the video. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I will see you guys in the next video.